More than 13 million Ether has now been locked on Ethereum's ETH 2.0 staking contract, according to data handed by cryptocurrency analytics firm Glassnode. In today's video, we'll tell you all about this new update on Ethereum's ETH 2.0 contract. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. So now let's get right into the video. Those 13 million who staked ETH really represent 2,800,000 active validators furnishing security, structure blocks, and guaranteeing the health of the network. It's a number that presumably grows around one each week and continues to further decentralize the network. This comes just four months after the contract was passed in early May. ETH 2.0 staking was launched back in November 2020 after a successful concurrence vote. Lido, a non-custodial liquid staking protocol for Ethereum, Solana, and other chains, accounts for the largest share of staking ETH, 31.8. Meanwhile, Ethereum moves even near to the forthcoming transition by testing the merge on the Sepulia testnet. Those deposits represent 10.9 of the total circulating supply. Now, the network will have another testnet launch before the much-awaited launch event. As the beacon chain merges with the main chain, Ethereum will convert to proof-of-stake. Ethereum was supposed to switch to a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm years ago, but the process has been delayed several times. The merger is now extensively anticipated to take place latterly this time. As you today reports, Vitalik Buterin prognosticated that Ethereum could move to an evidence-of-stake agreement algorithm in August, but now it appears that the high-stakes upgrade has been delayed until at least September is. The upgrade is anticipated to dramatically reduce the energy consumption of Ethereum, yet there are also those who claim that proof-of-stake is much less secure than proof-of-work. Ethereum is a blockchain that enables the development of decentralized operations and fiscal services using smart contract technology. Ethereum aims to produce a platform for the deployment of smart contracts, enabling a decentralized and computational layer. Ethereum has extended beyond Bitcoin's functionality to a decentralized computing platform for smart contracts and decentralized finance. The platform was originally intended to give additional functionality. Bitcoin was always useful as a store of value and as an investment option owing to ever-increasing encryption facility. Where it falls short is the lack of complex functionality. Users of Bitcoin can send and receive trades, but smart contracts are not supported. Ethereum offers a platform that can facilitate inventors to produce decentralized applications, complex smart contracts, and tokens. There's no limits on what users can make. Ethereum allows developers to have the freedom to produce and contribute to the ecosystem. Ethereum has become popular based on the value of its decentralization. That's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.